one from my papa he ain't have a lot of money but he taught me how to keep the perfect posture so folding under pressure that ain't something that i'm about to crabs in the barrel i'm just trying to be a lobster i hit my cousin told him to call it's been 12 years and i ain't heard from him at all had a little fallout over some money damn ain't it funny how the smartest people be beefing like they some dummies but i hope you doing swell now hope your family well now we still believe in ronnie gonna make his way out of jail now my little bro tripping too but this time he ain't making bail now what's going on everybody welcome back to calgary barbell um we're here doing some more training counting down about four weeks now to north americans so it is uh, it's looming pretty closely Things feel really good, uh, other than my shoulders still not, uh, I don't even know if it's 30 or 40% at this point, but uh, we'll just kind of keep trucking on that. Now, the big thing uh, that I'm gonna have to do is try to find a way to like push a little bit at North Americans, get a bit of a, a, a sort of tune up meet, get a feel for the platform again. It's been a while since I competed. And um, at the same time, try to hold back enough that I can basically jump right back into training two days later uh, and continue training for Worlds where it's gonna be uh, more competitive, to be more countries represented. The US actually isn't sending a team to North Americans, so that takes away a, a swath of the competitive field right there. Um, but the deadlift's going super well, so hopefully I can push that deadlift world record in uh, Florida and then have a little bit less to worry about come deadlift attempts for the first two anyways uh, in, at Worlds and just really focus on the total. It'll also be a little bit of a test for the shoulder to see how that holds up. But um, today we're doing some chain squats. Just finished those. I'm gonna do some board work on my bench and see if I can get something to my chest, maybe. Uh, and then we're gonna do some banded deadlifts. But first thing I wanted to do today is take you through how to set up chains because I feel like that's something I get asked a lot and I'm not sure a lot of people really understand how you want chains set up. So one of the important things is to have a catch chain because if you drape this length of chain, which is only about yay high, over the bar, you're not gonna get anything on the floor. So the whole idea is the catch chains keep it at a place where it's relatively fully loaded at the top. And then at the bottom, if you watch the set of squats uh, that I did or any of my warm-ups, you'll see most of the chain, if not all of the chain, is unloaded at the bottom. So there's a pretty drastic shift in the strength curve, pretty drastic shift in how much weight you have at the top versus how much you have at the bottom. And that's kind of the whole point of it. Now another tip is to make sure that your chain isn't fully off the ground. You want a little bit on the ground, anchored to the ground, so that you're not swaying around with it, because chains can be really, really annoying if they're swaying around. And if that's what you're after is some sort of like stability thing, fine. But if you're looking at using chains for the sort of traditional change of the strength curve, generally you want a little bit of chain on the floor. So uh, good catch chain is really important. The other thing that I did before I started was we have like a fish scale or a hook scale and you can actually take it, pull it off the bar, hold it out here. Dylan's got some footage of that. But you can get a, an approximate idea of how much chain you have at the top and then measure it side to side to make sure you're somewhat symmetrical. A lot of little things you can do to get a little bit more uh, or, or to, to do chains a little bit smarter. So hopefully that helps somebody who's trying to use chains out there. Get a cash chain, make sure a little bit of it's on the floor. Make sure you're almost, if not entirely, unloaded at the bottom chain wise. And then measure it to make sure it's the same on both sides. As well as so you know how much chain weight you're using, right? Cool. Hope that helps somebody. Yeah, so we did bench, it went pretty well. Worked up and got in a lot more work with the, uh, the boards than I could last time. So a little bit more exposure, which is good. Uh, I think I worked up from 172, 175, 177, 180 for two singles. Came down and did 150 uh, to a one board. 
all that previous work was two to two work. Um, and then managed 125 to the chest for two singles. Second one didn't feel so good, but the first one was maybe not more than like a minor kind of uh, one or two out of 10 discomfort. So that seems very promising. Uh, I've definitely had days where I've come in and had a hard time warming up past like 45, 50 kilos. So 125 is a big step in the right direction. Hopefully by the time uh, North Americans rolls around, I'll be able to actually bench something and then by worlds, hopefully be able to push it a little bit. Um, the next thing we're gonna do here is some deadlifts against bands. And I did wanna talk a little bit briefly about the efficacy of bands and chains and using accommodating resistance. I think that's something that uh, as the pendulum sort of swings back the other way, as it continually does back and forth, um, those kinds of movements have often, or, or in a lot of cases, have fallen out of favor with people. People don't, uh, don't wanna use bands and chains, they don't see any value in it. And, um, you know, do I think that bands and chains and using bands and chains is an absolutely necessary thing? And if you don't use it, you're leaving kilos out there off your total? Eh, probably not to that extent. But do I think that bands and chains, uh, if you can have access to them, are a fantastic training tool that can potentially benefit a lot of people? Yeah, absolutely. Just because you saw a study that said that bands and chains might not be as worthwhile as doing straight weight squats, doesn't mean that they're not worthwhile on the wholesale. So. I think as with most things, probably wise to, again, if you have access to them, put them in your toolbox. Try to implement them. It's way more worthwhile to just try something and see if it works, as opposed to forming an opinion about it because somebody said something on Instagram or you saw one study um, you know, that, that pointed to the, the opposite being true. Um, bands and chains are something that people have used for years and years and years. Uh, and you know they've gotten a lot of people strong. And, I think it's also an interesting conversation when people start thinking like, okay, well, what's the mechanism? You know, like what, what exactly is it? Does it help you accelerate through your sticking point? Does it do X, Y, and Z? You know, is it, is it the change in the torque and the output and all this kind of, I don't know that it matters. The, what matters is whether it works or not. So what matters is trying it out, finding out whether it works. Is it, it's not necessarily about the minutia of like, oh, how does this work? In what way is this more muscularly challenging? Um, now those are interesting questions and good discussions, but for most people, it's probably just more a matter of does it work or not. So try it out, see if it works, and uh, at the very least, they're a fun and novel way to continue getting stronger. Uh, in a lot of cases, to work around injuries. You know, if you feel pain at the bottom of a range of motion, why not have more weight at the top? I don't know. You know, there are plenty of applications for this kind of stuff. So, anyways, that's my rant for today. That's the day. We wrapped it up. Got some good pulls in. Worked up to, uh, what was it, 305, 670, uh, plus some, some bands. And uh, yeah, overall good day. Things feeling good. And well, I don't know, do we have anything else to talk about? I guess we signed the lease. That's exciting. Super exciting. We put our deposit down on the CBB HQ. Construction is going to be starting very soon, which is, yes, very exciting. And we're at 99,000 subscribers. If you're watching this, hit that button. I know that if you made it this far in the video, you you love you love this shit. Hit that subscribe button, would you? Come on, do it for this. 100K, one year, not cutting it. Could be cool. You could be a part of it. Plus, Bronson's here, and he Beautiful says, Bronson. "Right? Should they subscribe?" I think that's a yes. I think that's a yes. Yeah. yeah. We'll see you guys in the next one.